Ever since Tesla set out to accelerate the world's transition to sustainable energy in 2003, they have been consistently knocking it out of the park. Cars as impressive as a Tesla need an impressive workspace and efficient production line, and there's no doubt they have both down pat. Located in Fremont, California, the Tesla HQ and factory spans 5.3 million square feet and employs over 10,000 people. But how does it work inside? Today, we're going to take a rare peek inside the Fremont facility. Before we dive in, Welcome back to our channel. If you haven't already, make sure you hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you never miss a video from us. Tesla Milestones After delivering a record number of EVs in the fourth quarter of 2020, Tesla is preparing for an even bigger year with global expansion in the cards. It hit its goal of delivering half a million cars in 2020, but it can barely keep up with production. So to solve that little problem, Tesla Gigafactories have been cropping up around the world for some time now. Even with that limitation, Tesla has done quite well for itself. Tesla's first car was the Roadster, and its debut proved that electric cars could be just as fast as any fossil-burning vehicle. Next came Tesla's Model S in 2012, to prove Tesla's could be luxurious. Soon after, Tesla established its supercharger network, allowing EV owners to finally take long road trips without worrying about range. In 2015, Tesla set its sights on semi-self-driving systems and started actively working towards achieving full autonomous driving. During all that, Tesla launched a Red Roadster into space, announced the Tesla Semi in the most rock concert-like reveal, and kept way above General Motors and Ford's market value, despite being the new kid in school. Now, how are they pulling that off? Elon Musk's social presence definitely helps with marketing the brand. But marketing isn't everything. You need a good product. And Tesla is arguably one of the very best, and with no small thanks to its highly efficient production and assembly line. Tesla Headquarters and Factory Tesla's factory in California is unsurprisingly one of the world's most advanced automotive plants, sitting on 370 acres of land. Elon Musk calls it a machine that builds machines, and rightly so. This was Tesla's first large-scale production facility ever, and it opened in 2010. Now, of course, they have several massive gigafactories around the world, but this is where it all started. The head of the operation, or the central nervous system, is the Tesla Fremont offices. Just like in the SpaceX offices, Elon Musk prefers not to have walls and cubicles in his workspace, because it limits conversation and the flow of ideas. So instead, you have everyone from designers to engineers working together to create magic. The actual assembly and production, of course, happens just below these offices offices in the factory. Unlike its other factories, the Fremont factory wasn't built from scratch. This facility used to be home to General Motors from 1962 to 1982, before Toyota's new United Motor Manufacturing Incorporated, or NUMI, swooped in to buy it for $800 million. Toyota then sold this $800 million factory on May 20, 2010, for just $59 million, and it included much of the manufacturing equipment too, and you thought you were good at bargaining. What followed was some extensive remodeling of the offices in the factory. The floors were painted white, and a lot of the machinery was painted red. A fresh, modern update for a modern car. To brighten up a once dark space, Tesla added skylights to provide workers with natural sunlight. The offices went from a dull, drab space to a clean, modern-looking, lit-up work area with new systems. The Tesla headquarters also has an employee training center, a cafeteria, several food trucks on campus, a fully-fitted state-of-the-art gym, and a 24-7 in-house medical center. Yep, Tesla takes good care of their workers. In the factory, everything is automatic. The Fremont factory is home to the Model 3, and the assembly lines for it are heavily automated to eliminate the more difficult and repetitive tasks and the need to lift heavy, awkward parts. There was a time Tesla had too many robots, and even Elon Musk admitted that excessive automation at Tesla was a mistake. But now, they seem to have found a balance between robots and humans. Now, Tesla has a criteria for when to use humans and when to use robots. Basically, machines are great at working with parts that are always the same size, like metal, bolts, batteries, and battery packs. But when it comes to working with fabrics, belts, and wires, humans are better. The system that controls the whole intricate process of assembling the Model 3 is Tesla's manufacturing operating system, and it's all created by software engineers sitting in the Tesla offices. Typically, the job of making the operating system is outsourced. Making their own system has enabled them to fine-tune the equipment and processes. Sure, it's more expensive, but with a market valuation of over 800 billion, it probably makes the smallest, most unnoticeable dent. Making their own operating system also gives them flexibility, so they can develop or change their equipment before a competitor would even be able to get a formal proposal together to send to its supplier. In addition to assembling the car and giving it the final touches, the Fremont location is also a manufacturer for key components of the vehicle. In fact, the Tesla campus includes several smaller buildings dedicated to making various vehicle components. For example, there's a whole unit just for manufacturing Tesla seats, just minutes away from the headquarters. 
It's a rather plain looking factory and doesn't get as much light as the main factory, but it has still made a name for itself in the auto industry. The seats that go into Tesla's vehicles are not just any seats, but world-class automotive seats that are assembled with vegan fabric, which is actually superior to regular leather in every noteworthy way. Tesla's vegan leather seats are aesthetically beautiful, durable, highly stain resistant, super soft, and of course, eco-friendly. But this is far from high tech. If you want something more complex, Tesla also has units dedicated to making autopilot hardware and battery management systems. Once the car is assembled and painted, it goes for inspection, where they are checked top to bottom for the slightest flaws. They are then taken for testing, which hopefully goes better than this. At its peak, the Tesla headquarters can produce half a million cars a year, thanks to their highly efficient staff of 10,000 people and 200 robots. Each robot costs approximately $50,000, and each has its own specified role. They are also named after superhero characters like Xavier from the X-Men comics, which sits at the entrance of the trim line. The robots Wolverine and Beast do all the heavy lifting. Storm and Colossus are found at the end of the chassis line. The great thing about Tesla is they don't claim to have reached the peak of car manufacturing, despite their incredible assembly and production line. Temporary engineering workstations are set up in the middle of the production line to troubleshoot the equipment. Sometimes you'll see partially finished cars pulled out of the assembly line to correct any body shape issues before being sent off for a paint job. The new Tesla Gigafactories this is by no means the only facility manufacturing cars at an insane scale. Tesla currently has four gigafactories around the world. The Nevada base, which is 1.5 million square feet. The New York base, which is focused on solar energy more than vehicles. There's one in Shanghai, which is the newest one and handles the final assembly of the Model 3 and production of the Model Y. And the Berlin base, which is still not operational, but will be soon. New HQ in Texas. But the most impressive of them will be the Texas Gigafactory. This $1.1 billion assembly plant in the South Travis County of Austin will be Tesla's fifth Gigafactory in the world. The site space is 2,500 acres, and the factory is a whopping 4 to 5 million square feet. While Fremont is currently still the HQ of Tesla, don't expect that to be the case for too long. In May, Elon Musk threatened to move Tesla to Texas after local authorities refused to let him open his factory during the pandemic. In response to that, he tweeted, Tesla will now move its HQ and future programs to Texas, Nevada immediately. If we even retain Fremont manufacturing activity at all, it will be dependent on how Tesla is treated in the future. And of course, the Texas government welcomed Tesla and Elon Musk with open arms, giving him approvals and a massive tax cut of $50 million. Texas also doesn't collect personal income tax, while California has some of America's highest state tax rates. Texas also supported Tesla's federal request for designation as a foreign trade zone, which means they would be exempt from paying customs on materials used in export production. If a billionaire promises thousands of jobs and opportunities, that's how you treat him. The Texas factory is expected to create over 5,000 jobs in the next four years, and Tesla is already hiring for several manufacturing and engineering positions in the facility. Anyone interested? Better apply fast. While the Fremont factory is obviously impressive, something tells us Tesla hasn't even begun to explore its options in manufacturing systems yet. If there's one thing you can be sure of with Elon Musk, it's that he will find a way to upgrade everything he can get his hands on and make the process faster to meet the insanely high demands of the market. So we might just be back with another video talking about the brand new factory and brand new systems and processes. What do you think of the Fremont facility? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like and check out more awesome ones on the Simply Tech channel. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.